Hello, with me is Mr. Bimal Patwari. I know Bimal since 2011-2012 when he had this dream to build a global organization. Guess from where? Durgapur in West Bengal. Bimal is an alumnus of IIT Kharagpur and I am not now. And he offers a unique service to the world of construction and engineering. BIM, Building Information Management Services. I feel so proud that Bimal runs an organization which is a global leader in this service. Today, Pinnacle Infotech Solutions, his company, is an Indian multinational with offices in the US, UK, Germany, Japan, Singapore, and many other places. The ball, which you can see here, is an on is in in uh, what should I say? It's a testimony to the fact that the World Cup soccer was held in Qatar. That stadium was built where Pinnacle Infotech Solutions played a pivotal role. I'm told more than 160 engineers worked there to build a stadium in record time. I am here today to discuss with him an important aspect of work. He has grown from whenever he started with few employees to nearly 3,000 employees across the globe. But Vimal Patwari remains that one man. So how did he achieve it? And that brings us to the topic of conversation today, which is independence of work. Well, thank you so much for agreeing to be with me today and discussing about this very important dimension about which a lot of people talk about and everybody has a point of view. So let me begin by asking you, what to you is your definition of independence of work? First of all, Deepak, there are many thanks for considering me worthy of this discussion. Yeah, and uh, I still remember the first day when we met and I really appreciate the amazing guidance that you have provided to us, both personally and to the company, which has enabled us to introspect come up with the right strategies, right planning, to adjust ourselves to the as we grow. So there is a nice book I read some seven, eight years back. What got you here will not get you there. Yes. So when I started my journey, you know, there were only four or five people with me uh, way back in 1997, 98. That was my global journey when I started. And obviously in the beginning, you have to take the lead, you have to be the single person doing everything, starting from writing brochures, to you know, making presentations, to making marketing, to be the quality person and be the strategist, kind of a multiple role. But as you grow, you realize that there is a limitation and that's what the book talks about. So once we reach a certain level, a certain base cap, then a completely different strategy needs to come into place. So you now, if you want to grow globally and if you want to be the leader in the world, you need to hire people who are better than you at different functional areas, whether it is human resource development, it is marketing, whether it is quality control, whether it is uh, promotions and and of course you also have been pivotal in guiding to me, me that and then we started hiring the people who could take us to the next orbit and I was fortunate that we could get those committed people experienced people who could think independently and when, he, when I say independence really means that when a company has a strategy and a role defined and once you define a role 
And once you give them, you have to give them authority also. So you have to you have to delegate power to them also, whether it's financial power, decision making power, and and once they are able to, you are able to do that. Then the performance is simply different. The organization moves into the new orbits seamlessly. 